Before you begin, make sure the ball valve for the liquid smoke intake is in the off position. Next, make sure that the fluid tank is not pressurized and carefully open the fluid tank to add one to two gallons of churny smoke fluid. Then close the tank and tighten. Connect the quick disconnect on the end of the pressure tank hose to the nipple on the smoke blower valve assembly. Then pump the handle on the pressure tank five to 10 times to build tank pressure. Place the smoke blower on the manhole frame and start the smoke blower engine. Let it run three to four minutes to get up to operating temperature. Next, slowly open the ball valve on the liquid smoke intake until the muffler starts emitting smoke and perform your test. After the test, close the ball valve on the liquid smoke intake. Let the smoke blower engine run for at least two minutes or until smoke is no longer generated. Turn off the engine. Release pressure in the smoke fluid tank by pushing the pump handle down and turning it clockwise to lock the metal tab in the slot on the plastic barrel. Then slowly turn the locked pump handle counterclockwise to release tank pressure. Disconnect the pressure tank hose from the valve assembly. 